Hi, everyone. I wanted to share something that I've been slightly obsessed with over the last few months. I've been making a lot of mini journals, or some people call them junk journals or smash books. The idea is that you can, they're small, and uh, you can put photos in them, embellish them, journal in them. So let me just show you um, some of the projects I've worked on. Now these three on the bottom I made using a cinch binding tool, which it puts the holes in and the spiral, the metal spiral in. And you can pretty much make anything a book, which has been super fun. Um, and then the covers, I just make it with chipboard and then put pretty scrapbooking paper on it. So you use a lot of your stash, which is kind of nice too. Um, these are Project Life cards. I use a lot of them in these. I like, you can do them, there's no rules. You can do them any way you want. This is a, a card that I just embellished and put in here. Um, I like the different size pages because because I think it's kind of fun. You don't know what's coming next. Um, this is Plastic Sleeve from Project Life. And, uh, you know, I get journals from TJ Maxx and home goods and I'll deconstruct them basically. I'll take them, take the pages out and put them in these books. So anyway, um, I'll be quiet. This is actually from Little Women. I go to used bookstores and get some fun books and so I can put them in here. I could put photos in this. Again, journal. You get the idea here. And if I have a little scrap, I, I save it so I could put it in books like this. This is parchment paper. And then I put little embellishments and washi tape sometimes to spruce up the graph paper. I made a little mini folder or envelope and then put this in there. I like the fold out. Um, little sections. I think they're kind of fun, especially once you put photos in them. This I just made with a hole punch. I think a Martha Stewart craft punch. Okay, this is a four by six pad that a lot of people use for Project Life. So that's it. It's one of them. Um, I can show you, oops, that's from another project. <laughs> I could show you one that I did last night. I try to just match the colors and the feeling, I guess, more than anything. They don't really have a theme per se. Um, this, is, this is what life is all about. This is a Project Life card. You can do some journaling in here. You can open that. I put some quotes. I'm still gonna embellish most of these. This is an envelope. Um, so you can pull this out and either journal or put a photo on it. There's another one of those. This, I just um, stamped that and put it on there. And I like that because when you open it up, you see the butterfly and the bird, and it kind of matches the theme, take these broken wings and fly. So I, I added a bird on there. I'm probably going to put a quote on this side because I don't think you'd want to put photos on this. You can probably put photos on that side. This was a circle that, I, and I put a page in the middle to break it up. I love this paper. I like things that look kind of vintagey and old, um, even if they're not really old. So that's it for this one. I'm probably going to put a quote here at the end. And then here's one more. This can pop out. This pulls out. There's a lot of fun surprises. Now, if you go online on YouTube, there are tons of people making amazing junk journals. I mean, the way there's a million ways to bind, and um, it's just fascinating to me. Everyone has their own style. They use it for different things. They have pullouts, pop-outs. Uh, my, my journals, admittedly, are very simple. I don't have a lot. Um, I, th but that's kind of my style. I don't like super, super decorated things in a way. 
I guess it's kind of funny because these look fairly decorated. Now, these are a few other ones that I made recently. Let me pull them in here. These are bound differently because this was before I got this inch machine. These are bound just with twine and I put some holes in it. So, these aren't that elaborate and one reason, I, this is a pocket, um, this is the inside, the very inside and you could probably see, here it is, you can see the how it's bound there with, with uh, twine. One reason why, you could put photos in here at the end too. One reason why I haven't made them super elaborate is because I'm thinking of selling these at a craft fair. So I don't want to put a ton of time into them because then that would cost a lot more and I don't think people want anything super expensive at craft shows. Um, so I, I haven't decided which ones I'm going to sell, but you get the idea. Most of them have pockets. There we go. This one I put the um, tie on the inside. And I'm still going to decorate them a little bit, probably do a little bit of stamping to make them fun. I won't go through all of this, but this one is, actually I should show you this one. This is a birthday one, which I thought was fun. I think it'd be fun to showcase. I made a little pennant on this one. Um, and the inside I'd love, was it this one? No. Sorry, let me see. This one. This has... Um, birthday cake recipes on there, or this is key lime pie, ice cream, and cake, which I thought was fun for a birthday one. And this one is made, since it's made without a binding tool, I had to always fold papers in half. So that way, um, you know, there's one side is over here, one side is on, they're completely even, and that way it's very easy to bind. You just have to put holes, put string, and you're done. Oh, actually, with this one, that's weird. Oh, this one, I'm so sorry. This one, my friend sewed it. Um, she helped me sew. I did sew a couple journals. I forgot about that. This one, um, there's no binding as far as this is just the, p the pages are glued back to back to back. And so this is of my baptism. I decided I better show people how to use these. So I'm going to do a couple. I haven't done any uh, journaling. This is my baptism at Easter time. It's my sponsor, my husband. Hello, husband. Um, my sister-in-law who came with my niece. Sorry, it's hard to do this one-handed. Um... My two boys. These are just people from my class. I took an RCIA class. Um, and I haven't done the journaling yet, but I plan on putting some notes in about just the incredible day it was. Um, and then I have these mini, mini journals. These are fun. They're very simple. These are also bound by uh, gluing or taping paper back to back to back. And I did stamp a little on these. That says, away we go, blue skies ahead. Figure you can put some photos in here on the inside. And then the last page, doilies. This says, no ordinary moments. We are all a little fragile. These are all just punches. I think they're Martha Stewart punches, stamps. Um, and then here's another one. This says, we must take adventures in order to know where we truly belong. I figured these might sell well at a craft show because they're so simple, they won't be expensive. Although I have no idea on pricing, so if you have any thoughts on that, feel free to to help me. Um, so that's about it. I just wanted to show you a few of the books I've been working on. I find them super, super fun. 
um, because again, you get to use a lot of your scrappy stash, um, project life cards. If you like paper and you like journaling, I think this is something that uh, you would find very fun. So thanks a lot and thanks for watching.